Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have to start by apologizing about my nails. Please excuse them. Uh, after I have been recording this movie, I will be going and taking care of them. But for now, uh, they are gonna look like this pink yucky colors and it's a little bit nail polish left on them. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, they are gross. I'm sorry about that. I hope you could ignore that. Um, this is going to be a whole video and it's a pretty long one. Um, this is the whole video from the month of July and um, I have been ordering uh, a couple of times from Seven Hills Craft. I also been ordering from Shilling Papers in Göteborg here in Sweden. And I have been buying stuff from eBay, stuff from... Uh, I believe I've been buying from Panduro. And here I'm thinking if I have been buying something more. Um, I don't think so. I will be getting back to you if I remember that I bought something more. But the first thing I'm gonna start off is uh, with this. I haven't been um, doing anything with this yet, so I thought that was a good way to go. Uh, I just got it when I got home from my little vacation. We've been away for like nearly one and a half week. We've been visiting families and friends and so on. So we've been gone. Uh, so this is a stamp set from Paper Smooches. It's called... It doesn't have a name. That's funny. <clears throat> we Adore You, I believe it's called. And I think this is cute. It was on sale. So I bought it and I thought I could create a couple of cards with it. I love the sentiments that say from all of us. Um, please join us. Uh, we heart you. We are so grateful. Uh, because I think it's always fun to have a little bit, a couple of sentiments that you can use from a family or from a group of friends or something. So it not, it isn't always like from me to you, if you understand me. So I think you can create a couple of great images, um, cards, sorry, with this one. This one is so adorable. It's from the new release uh, from MFG and I love this stamp set. I think it is adorable. I believe that MFG has its birthday or its birth month or something. I think they've been a company for like 10 years or something. So they got uh, a whole bunch of new releases this month and this was my favorite. Um, and I love the little bear that holding that balloon and the one that's been eating the cake and the one that carries the cake and the one that pops up. And I think this one is so much fun. You can create really awesome pop-up cards or fun uh, little elements in a card with a pop-up dimension or something. So it is so much fun and it has, has these um, adorable sentiments uh, and I think this is adorable. I hope you can read them. <laughs> so much cake, so little room. I think that it's <laughs> fantastic to pair up with this one. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and I'm sure to be making a card on video soon with this one because it's adorable. I also got this uh, die set from uh, Avery L. And it's just an alpha. And I realized when I went through my stash that I didn't have any alphas. So this was perfect. And I am also going to be buying uh, one from Neat and Tangle. It's a little bit tinier and you can fit them easier on the card. This one I mostly will be using with my scrapbooking because it has this large um, letters. I believe they are like one and a half centimeter, a half inch. Uh, so that is a good size to put like a, uh, like a font on a page. Uh, here I'm realizing, wait, I'll be back. Stay with me for like 10 seconds. Uh, where did I put them? Okay, sorry guys, I didn't find them. I thought I had punched out a couple of them, but I realized I don't know where I put them. So, are they in one of these boxes? Yes, they are. Sorry guys, 
they were too close. So I just punched them out and you can see here how big they are. And I think these are so cute. <laughs> so there was that. And I also got a stencil. I don't know actually from which release this one is. But I thought this would be fun to do some backgrounds with or use my texture paste and my distressings and everything because they, it was um, kind of delicate like that, like that. So that was the first one I got, I believe that was all. Then since I've been getting into all this mixed media and making cards with mixed media and making like uh, more scrapbooking stuff, I thought I would be giving this uh, space a chance. So I love these uh, um, sprays. Um, I'm more familiar with the Distress um, colors, so I thought I was gonna start with this one. But then I realized that the Dilutions have a more intense color. So if you're into like this bright colors, and you know I am, <laughs> I had to try these ones out and I absolutely love them. I think this gets a more softer background and this is a more intense so I'm going to be buying a couple of more of this one because I love them this one is fine it's beautiful but actually I find that I like this one a little bit better so I bought a couple of them and then I also got this one the Heidi shine if you've been watching ink quill like I've been you know you have to like shake it and put it on your page and it is uh, so beautiful it really has this like awesome shine and sparkle. I have been doing a lot of projects that you will be seeing uh, later on uh, with this uh, distress stain and it is fantastic. So moving on, I also been buying a couple of more things like these, these two. This is uh, some modeling paste and this is some uh, metallic gold. Uh, medium, I don't know actually if it's it's a paste too, you can see it. if I'm opening it up, you can see like it's a paste you can smear over your stencils and this one too, it has like this pop up and you can push it out I actually am wondering how this I'm going to be comparing to this one uh, because I love this and I thought if I could get it here in Sweden for a little bit of a cheaper uh, price, I would love it. Love it. You can see it's on sale, and I got it for like half price. It's like five dollars or something. And this is a lot of stuff. So if this uh, works out, I think this could be a good investment instead of this. But I love this. I love. I love. I love. I use it so much since I got it. I think the. This is soon empty, so I have to buy a new one. So I'm gonna try this one out and I might do a, re a review of it if you're interested in it. So that was that and then I got... This is just basic stuff. Some tape. I got a puncher, a little hard puncher. I don't know if this is going to work, but I thought it was cute and I hope they will punch out like these gold hearts because I've been using them on everything lately and I got a couple of um, this is just some random random things that you, I can use on pages just got that and I got this from Pink Paisley the Fancy Free collection and I'm, I'm sure you've been seeing this I'm just gonna flip through it real quickly I love all the fonts and prints and everything in this one. I think it's beautiful. Really love it. It has been hard to get lately. I don't know why, but it's very pretty. And then I think it's been some fuss about this one. Some of the pages have been like sued or something. I don't know. Uh, this is the Cella V from Pink Paisley 2. And I'm gonna flip through this one too because it's been really popular and it is all over the internet. So I'm just gonna quickly flip through this. And you can get an idea of what you can do with it. I will use this with my scrapbooking or with my card making maybe too because I like it. 
I also got some gesso and I wanted the Team Holtz clear gesso. Oh, sorry, the Ranger clear gesso. But I couldn't get it because it was sold out here in Sweden and ugh, I don't know. I just wanted to try out some gesso because uh, I haven't used it and I wanted to see if it made a difference because everybody here on YouTube has been telling me that gesso is the way to go if you want to do like mixed media and I'm kind of into it right now so I'm gonna try this and see if it is like everybody tells me uh, and it works like a primer for your paper so we'll see how that will work out with my work I actually got this uh, pants these are from eBay and I thought I would use them with my I'm trying to get uh, good at like this lettering <laughs> so this has uh, brush tips and I thought they would be a great uh, starting point for me to get a hand, hang of how to use uh, it and how to like press it down on the down strokes and like lightly on the up strokes. So that is something I have to be practicing. I also got a lot of paints and it's also on half price, it's from Panduro and I thought this would be good to have and maybe mix with my texture paste, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna work and I also thought it was gonna be good to just like cover a large page um, uh, with colors so I got them and I love these colors, look at how bright this is and it's really pigmented so if I use this it will like cover an entire page so I love it and I love the range of colors I mean from the black to the white is a lot of colors I think you have I haven't used this I don't know actually but I think this looks like a true red and I love that I like that it's a good blue it's like a royal blue it's pretty and it's this maybe isn't the best orange it's more on the yellow side I would say but I think it's okay and I can use this to combo with my other paints that I got. So that is that and I'm excited to use them. And then I got... Um, let's see. I think I'm going to show you this one. These are from eBay. And I got them because I think they are so pretty. And when you order you don't know exactly which uh, of the colors you're going to get. And I'm, <laughs> I'm loving these ones. They are so pretty. I hope you can see them and uh, but of course you just got two of them and I got a lot of black ones and I don't know what I'm gonna do with small like resin flowers in black it's not my color so anyway I think these are pretty and I think they are like maybe I, I don't know I will not say how much it is because I don't know but it isn't a lot then I order a couple of things and I'm sure you've been seeing this one too. I order a lot of things from the Maggie Home collection this month. And when I ordered this one it was so loud everywhere but I managed to get it here in Sweden and that is like yay! <laughs> because we never have need anything here but shilling papers are really really good so a big shout out to them because they are amazing on, uh, on taking in a lot of the big brands so that is so much fun and um, as always I'm not sp sponsored by any company but I just want to give them a shout out because they are awesome they have good service and uh, fast delivery and um, a huge assortment of products so yay <laughs> and um, when I looked through internet for a, like a re review of this I couldn't get it anywhere because no one had like sorted them out so I thought I would like cut a little frame in here and I could show you them quickly so I'm gonna pause you and I'm gonna do that and then I will come back with my review This is 50 pieces and oops, I might have bought like two ones. Oops, 
sorry. <laughs> it was sold out everywhere and I thought I might like this so much I have to get two. Uh, then I got a couple of um, uh, stickers and this is from Seven Paper and I'm oh, sorry Steve Caligo and they are like um, dog team so it's like dog lover and uh, oh, good boy and <laughs> um everything so i think this is so much fun um yeah i have a plan for using them and this is uh, the same but it's the one with the cat lover they are also from studio caligo and i love this because it has this like metallic shimmer to them so they're pretty i don't know if the camera is picking it up that is pretty and this is from the Salavi collection. These are the puffy stickers and I hope this isn't glancing too much and you can see them. They are beautiful and they have like this soft foam nearly. It's like this plastic foam thingy and they are so pretty. They are nearly so pretty that I don't want to open them up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and the last, no sorry it's not the last, it has, I have a little bit more. But this is uh, from, I don't know, they are teeny tiny word stickers and I love teeny tiny word stickers, that's it. <laughs> I also got from the Bloom collection a couple of more things, I got these puffy stickers and they are very pretty and uh, I don't know how many you get. Maybe, I don't know, it's two sheets anyway. And I hope you can see it's from small words and it's a large font. And it's like this beer and it's beautiful. It's a tag, some flowers. I have a, a butterfly, some couple of more flowers, a heart. Oh, it's pretty. And I also got this, it's clear stickers and they are very pretty too. The only thing I couldn't manage to get here in Sweden was the other, like, from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection, and uh, the other stickers. So I had to uh, just take this one and be happy. But I will be trying to get them, of course. So this was just one sided, and here's some inspiration of how to use them. They are pretty. And then I got this is from Bobani and it's some shipboards and uh, they have 40, 54 pieces and I love this happy birthday because it could fit a whole page and then there is, is some tags or is it called tags? it's like this anyway you can see what it is like and some banners, a cake some flowers, banner, some, this actually is pretty fun, you can use this like a frame and put pictures in it. I like that, it was also on sale, it was like half price. I got some more shipboards and this is also from the Maggie Home collection. This one is very pretty, and it has like this big images. As you can see, very pretty, so pretty. This bunny is awesome, it's so cute. <laughs> and these swans, I love it, it's so pretty. I'm so sad, sometimes when I buy stuff I'm thinking like I have to buy two of this because I love it so much. This one I didn't buy two of, but that may be a good thing. I have to use the stuff I got, I cannot just hoard it. I love to order stuff. Oh, sorry, now I shake the camera too. Sorry, guys. And then I have some papers, and I think this will be fairly quick because I got some of the Maggie Home Collection paper. I'm gonna cut this out and use as embellishments. That is why I got a single sheet of this, and it's some wood on the back side. I got this one, it's on craft paper, and it's just like this mat of prints and letters and stuff and on the back side is like this lace print and it's beautiful but I'm gonna use this side I believe and then this is also from craft paper it's from the wonder collection 
it is beautiful it was on sale and i bought it because i thought it would be good to be like a layering piece and it's in the other side it's like this i don't know if the camera is picking it up small lines that go crisscross across the paper and this is from studio caligo and i got this so many times and now it was on sale and i had to get it again because i'm using this with my um laser printer and printing some of it in black and then i'm using my laminator to like get it in gold foil and then i get this like beautiful ombre effect so i'm using this a lot and i think the colors are they are my colors admit it's beautiful it's like bright colors and on the back side this pattern is also beautiful so but i bought it for this side and i'm gonna stick with this side it's beautiful <coughs> Here is a cut apart piece from uh, craft paper, it's from the confetti co collection and it has like this beautiful cut aparts and I actually got two of it. Oops! <laughs> and then I got this and it is some vellum with some gold foil on top and I got this because I thought it would be perfect to cut apart. And this is actually from the Little You collection from Create Paper, but I don't care. I will use this a lot. It, I don't, you don't have to have a baby or a child or anything to use this. I love this. And I don't have any children, so this is perfect for like sending someone a little surprise or something. Here is also from this collection, from the Maggie Holmes, the Bloom collection, and it's also cut apart. I bought, I think, two of these and I will cut this part as soon as I'm stopped recording this because I'm using this a lot, both on my card making and on my uh, scrapbooking and I'm mainly using it as ephemera. I think it's beautiful to use it like that. And then I got this and I think I have actually two. I have to open it up so you can see how it is. It's from the Cella V collection from Pim Paisley. Oh, I prepared <laughs> and I did not even realize. I hope you can see it's like see through, it's plastic. And um, you get this like hard back, so you can use this for like layering or something. But look at it, so beautiful. I think this is uh, amazing, and I don't know if it has like this. No, I don't think it has. Sometimes they have like a plastic cover on top of it. Maybe it does. Yeah, it does. You can see here that I can take this and like take away a plastic cover. I'm not gonna do that now, but it could be good to know because sometimes it, you can see how it gets if you have the plastic on and, and you don't realize. So it wouldn't be pretty if you sent this to someone. So that was that and then um, it's just one more thing and I don't think I need to show you exactly everything in this one because I got my hands on the 12x12 12 12 uh, paper pad from Maggie Holmes Bloom Collection and I've been like craving this since I saw it. I think in my mind this is the most beautiful collection out there yet right now because it is so a soft it's just got these soft papers with the soft colors and here's the cut apart sheet from this one and it's just perfect to have with these bright colors and I love that combo and this one I mean you just want to color it in or like have it as a layer or use it in a whole piece you can do so much with it and this one it is beautiful with these peel colors on this black background it is beautiful and everything in it is like perfect. I could use this over and over and over again. And you get two of everything and it is just beautiful. Thanks guys for watching. I hope I got you inspired to buy some new products maybe or to just like dust off the old things and get kicking with your scrapbooking or card making or whatever. Uh, if you like this clip, please Click the thumbs up button uh, so I know you liked it and I can create more movies. 
If you want to see more of my work, you can always subscribe to my channel here at YouTube or you can visit me at Instagram. My name is Scrapbooking Online Svea. And if you have any questions or wondering anything, please leave me a comment down below and I will be sure to answer it as fast as I can. I'm only um, answering questions when I get a computer because sometimes with the phone I'm like typing wrong stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'm not comfortable by writing stuff on YouTube on my phone. So I'm waiting till I have some time and answering them as fast as I can when I got a computer. Until next time guys, have a beautiful day and I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous weekend or whenever I'm putting this up. If you want to see some more um, uh, products from me, you can always wait a little bit because somewhere here I'm gonna take um, some clips and you can visit them and see some more.